Hey there, how's it going everybody? In this video, I just wanted to check in and give everyone some updates about the channel. I'm always getting suggestions from a lot of you about some improvements that you'd like to see. Uh, a lot of these suggestions that I get have to do with providing the code snippets and source code from my videos, and also some ideas for how I organize my videos. So I've been working on getting some of those improvements in place, and we'll discuss all of that here in just a bit. Um, also in this video, I have a couple of questions for you all and would love any feedback that you can provide in the comments or messages. So first of all, I just wanted to give a big thank you to all of you. We recently hit 30,000 subscribers on the channel and I'm getting more and more messages and feedback every day. I can't always respond to every message and question that I receive, but I just want you all to know that I do read every one of them and really appreciate all the feedback that you send my way. And I especially want to thank all the people who are supporting through Patreon. Um, now, I know that not everyone has the means to support financially, and that's totally understandable. But for those of you who do, I just want you to know that I really appreciate it. Um, at some point, I would love to make these tutorials full time so that I could put out a ton more in-depth videos at a faster pace. And every bit of support makes that more and more of a possibility. And speaking of Patreon, I recently updated the rewards that I offer. So if you're not familiar with Patreon, it's basically a way for people to financially support creators for as little as a dollar a month. And they also have a feature where you can set certain levels so that anyone who donates a certain amount unlocks some kind of perk or reward. So the reward that I already had in place is that anyone who supports the channel gets a shout out on my personal website. And that's over here on my contributions page. Now that is unless they opted out of that. I do have several supporters who chose to opt out of getting that. Uh, now I'm going to continue adding supporters to my contributors page here, but I've also wanted to uh, do more than just giving a shout out for people who support the channel. So I was trying to think of some better rewards that I could offer. And you can see that I've updated this over here on the side. Um, so one thing that I was thinking uh, was that we could do book giveaways specifically for people who support the channel. So I've updated my Patreon so that anytime I do a giveaway, each supporter will get one entry for every dollar that they contribute. And then I will randomly select a winner from those entries. So for example, someone contributing $10 will receive 10 entries and so on. Um, so I'm probably going to do my first giveaway like this uh, at the beginning of next month or so. Um, and another fun thing I was thinking was that I could write my own script to randomly select this winner and I could make a video showing the process for how I go about writing a script like that. So that's one question that I had for all of you is uh, what do you think of these rewards for Patreon supporters? Because I really do appreciate all of you who support the channel and I want to provide something in return. Uh, so if you have any ideas or feedback, then I'm definitely open for suggestions. Now, the only caveat here is that I can't do any reward that's too time consuming uh, because I still do have a full time job and I'm also answering a lot of viewer questions in my free time. So any rewards that I provide will have to be something that doesn't take up too much time uh, because anytime that I put towards that will take away from the time that I'm able to put into answering questions and making future videos. And I know that for the most part, uh, you all would like to uh, see me get out more videos than anything else. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's move on to some of the updates here. Now, one of the most common suggestions that I get is that I should be putting up the source code from each of my videos. So I've gone back through all of my videos and tried to put all of the code onto my GitHub page. Um, now, I've also gone through each video and added links to the source code in the description of each video. So this is just one example here. If you're looking for the source code, then you can look in the comments and there will usually be a link like this. The code from this video can be found at and it'll have a link. And when you click on that, it'll take you over to my GitHub page where I link the source code for those videos. So in the future, I'm gonna make it a habit of pushing the code to my GitHub page before I publish a video. And I'll be sure to add those links to the source code in the description of each video. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, and another suggestion that I get a lot is that I should create a playlist that orders all of my Python videos in such a way where there's some kind of progression. And this would be so that uh, someone who's learning Python can just start at the beginning of the playlist and the videos that I suggest for a beginner will be towards the beginning, intermediate, intermediate videos will be in the middle, and more advanced videos will be towards the end. So I've created one large Python playlist and ordered my videos in such a way that I think it's the... Uh, best for beginners, uh, or what I think is best for beginners will be towards the beginning, and they progress through to the more advanced tutorials. 
Now, I do want to point out that this doesn't exactly flow like a Python class where uh, you should watch every single video back to back. There are some videos that people will most likely want to skip. So, for example, at the beginning of the playlist, I've placed all of the development environment setup videos. Now, I made development environment setup videos for Sublime Text and Atom and Eclipse, and I made setup videos for each of these because different people have different preferences, and I wanted to give my preferred setup for each of those. But for some Someone who's getting started with Python, they might only want to watch one of these videos to get their environment set up and then move on to the next relevant topic. They probably don't want to watch all three of these setup videos. But with that said, I did order these in a way that I think makes sense for someone learning Python. Uh, so at the beginning, we have our development environment setups, and then we move on to, you know, package management with PIP and creating virtual environments, uh, learning about scope and so on. Now this is one large Python playlist with every single one of my Python videos. Now for something that does flow more like a class, then I have created other uh, playlists that flow uh, from, you know, uh, from beginning to end, just like you'd expect. So if someone is only interested in learning how to create classes and object-oriented programming in Python, then they can just go straight to this playlist instead. And I have created several other playlists that focus on specific topics rather than the large Python playlist with everything included. Um, so uh, just give those playlists a look and, um, and hopefully they're ordered appropriately. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it for this video. Now, those are by far the suggestions that I get the most, and hopefully now that those are addressed, then the videos will be more accessible and easier to follow along than before. Um, now, as usual, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask in the comment section below. Um, feel free to give me suggestions or feedback about anything that we talked about in this update video. And again, thank you all for everything, and thanks for watching.